Good morning. Welcome back to our homestead. This morning I'm out trying to finish up working on our stem wall for the house. And uh, I've had a couple of blocks I had to chisel out to get utilities roughed in. And I've got some blocks that I have to finish backfilling above grade. And uh, I just have to get our sill plates cut out and bolted down. And the stem wall for the house will be complete. So once I've got that complete, then I can start pulling the lines for the interior uh, columns and block work that has to be done. So let me show you where we're at. Here you can see I've got a piece of conduit chiseled in through this wall and I've got to finish backfilling the blocks uh, right there. And then up here I've got another conduit. The first one's going to be for my water. The second conduit is in case we decide to go with grid power we can bring that in underground under the house so we don't have any overhead lines but we still haven't decided for sure whether we're going to do solar power or grid power for this house so just in case we'll have that already roughed in I've got to backfill the block on that one and over on the other side of the house <clears throat> I ran out of concrete when I was backfilling the blocks last so I've still got couple of blocks here on this corner that have got to be filled in. So I picked up some more concrete for that. And you can see from this piece of rebar here, all the way down to that corner, I've got to backfill those blocks. And I've got to uh, finish putting the sill plates up there, drill them out, cut them to length, and bolt them down. And the stem wall on this house will be done. And like I said, a lot of block work on the interior that still has to be done but once the sill plate is completed on the uh, porch wall then I can come back and pull the lines for all the interior blocks and get started on those so let's get to it backfill these cores now where I've uh, run the utility conduits through so that those blocks don't get crushed You can see the uh, concrete's coming out around the conduit where the hole is busted out. So we know that it's all the way down to the bottom of the footer. And we shouldn't have any problems with uh, the blocks getting crushed whenever we pull the, the dirt back up to the, to the wall. 
So now we need to turn around and do the same thing for the water inlet down here. Well, I finally finished doing all the backfills on the porch wall, and I've got all my anchor bolts set in place and cured, and it's time to finish getting the sill plates put down. And uh, what I'm using for the sill plates is some treated uh, 2 by 8s by 16, and I've got to finish getting a few of them cut to length and drilled out and bolted down, and we should have the porch wall finished up here in just a few minutes. Stick with me. Well, it's about 3.30 in the evening on uh, December 19th, and I am just finishing up, getting ready to head out of here. But we have finally reached a milestone. We have the entire porch wall complete. All the blocks are laid, all of them are backfilled, and the seal plates are on. So uh, I was hoping to get to pull the lines for the center blocks in the house, but that didn't happen today, so that'll have to be the next trip, but uh, let me show you what it looks like. This is the uh, southwest corner here, up to the northwest corner, over to the northeast corner, and down to the southeast corner. And you can see all the sill plates are finally in. So the next project is we've got to pull the lines for the actual house and get all of these columns put exactly where they go and mortared in, backfilled, and anchor bolts put on those. Uh, you can see towards that north wall there in the distance, we've got all those columns on that side. And then here in the middle, is a three block high wall from side to side that has to be put in and then I still have to pour the footers for the spot footer or the columns for the girder and get those built so we still have a good bit of work to do but it is coming along 